Hey everyone, I'm Alan Welk and I am here tonight to share with you about redox signaling and our pets. And it's gonna be a great time. Um, I've got a few slides to share, um, a little housekeeping at the top. We'll take all of your questions at the end. Hopefully we'll just be about 30 minutes and then we'll do a Q and A. So if you need to leave at any time, feel free to just do that. Um, and again, save your questions for the end and you can either raise your hand with the, um, probably with the icon if you know how to work that. Otherwise you can just wave at the end, but we'll get there. So infinite love and gratitude to everyone joining us tonight. I am so grateful that you're here and we are gonna jump into some animal adventures in cellular signaling. So what a pleasure it is for me to be here today with each of you. And I want to welcome each of you here and you taking your time out of your evening to join us. So I'm so grateful for that. So our topic today is about cellular health on a foundational level, even at the molecular level. As you can see, my dog's playing in the background. <laughs> Jerry. <laughs> oh, they, I don't know. It's about pets. So maybe I should just let them go, right? So we're going to learn about redox signaling molecules and what they are. So it's on a very minute level, um, a molecular level. We can't see them with our bare eyes. They are the messengers of the cell. So basically, these messengers tell the cell to repair and to replicate or to detox and leave the body. So when there's not enough of these messengers available in the cell, um, they can't do their job. And so this can happen if you're aging, which we all are, right? If you're aging, if there was any injury or illness, um, or if there's an imbalance for some reason, but then the cell begins to weaken. And it's actually all about the electron proton exchange, which we might've learned about back in science 101, but it's about balance. And when that balance isn't there, things go out of whack. So we're here to learn more about that, but let me share with you my slide presentation. So just a minute as I share my screen. And we will get started. Okay, so welcome to our little presentation this evening. And let me just remind everyone that the information provided in this webinar is for informational purposes only. The items discussed here are not intended to prevent, diagnose, treat, or cure any disease or health condition. So this is the product that we're talking about. It's called ASEA Redox Signaling Molecules. And what I had just introduced in the very beginning, aging, injury, a pathogen, anything can cause the redox supply in our cells to weaken, to lessen. And then our cells don't know what to do. They basically can lose their identity if they don't have that clear message to either repair, replicate, or detox the body. So this is a drink that consists of trillions of stable, perfectly balanced redox molecules that are suspended in a pristine saline solution. And it is the same exact molecules that exist in our body. Redox signaling molecules are vital for the health of our cells and that's why our bodies make their own supply. But after the age of 12, our cells make fewer and fewer of these molecules. So we here have the world's only source for replenishing our signaling molecules in two forms, a drink and the gel. So this is a supplement that addresses cellular breakdown starting at the genetic level. This is a supplement that is a groundbreaking patented process that recognizes molecules of natural salt and purified water, and it reorganizes them into redox signaling molecules, the exact same ones that our body makes in the mitochondria of every cell. So this has been scientifically tested and shown to signal the activation and genetic pathways in the body. So we're gonna move on here a little bit and I'm gonna share my testimony because sometimes the science gets a little heavy and I don't wanna, I wanna have fun tonight. And we're gonna get to the animal stories in just a minute. This is how I was introduced to redox signaling. Six years ago, I was diagnosed with a bacteria from a creepy crawly bug and experienced severe fatigue and horrible joint discomfort and inflammation. 
I was sick for quite some time before that. But however, that summer in 2016, the deep discomfort level just increased. It hurt to move. I even had a scary vision of needing a wheelchair in my future. After just a few months um, after this came to light, my holistic chiropractor, Dr. Darren Weissman in Chicago, introduced me to a product that contains redox signaling molecules. It was ASEA. I was a bit skeptical at first, but I began because I trusted him. After only six days of drinking the liquid, I woke up that morning, I felt amazing. It was a new kind of feeling, like, like childlike almost, and that deep discomfort that I was experiencing in my body was almost gone and I had energy. So later that same day, I re received a message from God inside that told me to go for a bike ride, um, which was something I wasn't able to do at all that summer. And I used to be very athletic, but on this day I was feeling so energetic that I went for that six mile bike ride and I made it. Um, then the same thing happened the next day. I ended up going 11 miles and I knew that this was something very incredible and I wanted to learn more because I had felt a significant change. And these slides, the slide on my bike is actually the slide that I, or the picture that I took when I was on the trail, um, telling my husband, look, I'm riding my bike. And he was like, go home. Cause he didn't want me to, you know, fall or him have to leave work to come pick me up. So um, amazing. And here I am with Journey with a litter of puppies, which we had at the time too. But let me back up just a bit. The redox molecule was discovered in the human body back in the 1990s, actually earlier than that, they had been studying them, but this actually um, was discovered in the 90s. The scientist that you're looking at here uh, had actually won the Nobel Prize in medicine for this discovery. So it was that that launched a whole huge um, opportunity to learn about what these molecules are in the body. And at first the science community didn't know what they were, but in the more recent years, um, it's been studied a lot. And as you can see, if you look at the, the little graph, I can't use my mouse pointer right now as I'm sharing my screen, but um, those numbers of the study of that graph with the bars have gone up significantly to the point where like you guys this is uh this is the national library of medicine nih this is a government website this talks about redox signaling in the body and as you can see the circled in red it's over forty thousand peer-reviewed articles now that have been researched about redox signaling and what it is in the body this is one of the fastest growing areas of science, and it is also studied in most every major university in the world. Yes, they have a redox department in their school of biology. So it's very incredible. Of course, the science goes really deep. No, we're not going there tonight, but I want you to know this is a very real thing that happens in the body and it's been studied and studied. And we, are one of, we are the only company, in fact, on the planet that has a supplement that you can just drink or use topically that will replenish those molecules. So basically you have the, the cell that is not healthy. And when we add those redox molecules to it, it makes the cell more plump. It, it brings the signaling back in. It tells the cell what to do. And there's a divine orchestration that happens within that. Again, I'm not going there. But what I do want you to recognize is how quickly or not quickly our cells actually reproduce. Now, thank goodness we're not like reptiles, like snakes who shed their skin all at once, right? So for instance, when you look at skin, it takes one month for our skin cells to replenish. But we do that over a period of time, not all at once. However, um, as we age, what takes one month when we're in our teens can take at age 50, can take two months to replenish or to heal if you cut yourself, right? By the age of 70 to 80, it can take three months. So that is the result of the re reduction of redox in the body. So here's some pet stories, what we all came here to learn about, right? Now, this product is so safe for humans that it also marries very nicely with using with animals because of its being so totally safe. 
It is 100% non-toxic. There is zero toxic limit. It is safe enough to be used in the eyes, to be breathed in the lungs, um, down in the lungs, through the nasal passages. You can use it topically. It can even be used uh, vaginally and rectally. So this is a product that might sound really confusing at the top, but it's very simple. You can apply it and you can drink it. So these are two of my dogs. And I'm going to just jump right in here. So this is uh, my golden retriever family. We actually have Bodie and Journey um, and little baby Wallace, who was born last year. He's joined our family as well. And I also have a horse in my life now, which is awesome. So I have just retired from naturally rearing golden retrievers, which we did for 30 years. Half of that, the last half, we've done it naturally. So what does that mean? It's a whole other niche and really a whole other topic of conversation. But I really want you to just appreciate what I can bring to the table as far as natural health care for animals. So this is what we would do once a year. No, we're not a puppy mill, but we would just have a litter a year, but we would give them our absolute full attention and everybody loves puppies, right? So I've got some pictures because we really went out of our way to socialize them, to get them ready to go home. We would wean them to a raw diet and bring in a SIA because every animal deserves a naturally healthy start from the heart. So yes, I have dog experience um, and so much more because my first love was horses. So these were my horses. Um, actually, the two bays are the same horse, but my Palomino I had in high school. And I also worked at our zoo in town for five summers. I developed educational programs for children. So I've worked with lions, tigers, and bears. Oh my. And as you can see, the um, that was Frank the owl and some primates. I, I did school programs with the ring-tailed lemur. Um, it was a lot of fun. So nature's philosophy, right? The body is designed to heal, regenerate, and be completely whole. And that is a quote from the man who introduced ASEA to me, Dr. Darren Weissman. Um, I am so grateful to really understand this and really know that the body is equipped with all the tools that it needs to heal when it has the right tools, right? So Let's bridge this back to dogs because this is how I first introduced the ASEA to my dogs. I literally would put it in a separate human bowl and I poured it in and I'd be like, oh, you guys are getting so, you know, it's time for your ASEA. And it was always fun in games when they got their ASEA. Um, and still today, I do it this way. It's always a fun time. Um, I never force it on them. Of course, the glass was for me. That was my ASEA that day. But uh, usually dogs will drink it freely. If they don't, that's okay. Like we don't ever want to make the giving it to them stressful in any way. Um, so there's other ways I'm going to talk about in just a minute. But first offering it to them like this is great. Otherwise, you can put a little treat into the bowl. The thing to remember about redox is that it's very bioavailable, meaning it's going to it's going to trigger off like this on anything organic, your skin, your tongue, a treat in the bowl. I think you'll get the drift. We'll talk more about this. Um, this is my girl journey and she was ready to give birth. They call it whelping in the dog world. And she loves her seat and she would just drink it up. And I just caught, I just caught the tail end of this back when she was, you know, we were bringing in our ex of self-love for the mama to be. Um, this was a few le weeks later. This is Weaver the puppy. And this was my first introduction to the puppies because I wanted them to drink it. And so this is, they're about six weeks old here. What is this Weaver? <laughs> what is it? Oh, you want more? What a good boy, Weaver. Such a good boy. Yeah, you love that, don't you? You do. <laughs> That's fun. So another way to give it to other animals, cats, it's really harder sometimes, but I've known cats who will freely drink it as well, but you can get a little squirt bottle. And if you can see me, a squirt bottle like this, put the ASEA in here and apply it just gently into the side of the mouth and they might drink it that way. There's actually a few dogs that kind of prefer it that way. I don't know. They might be the kind that like to drink out of hoses as well. 
Um, so I've got a little video here of, of Jerry giving the puppies this way. Again, creating muscle memory, imprinting what that feels like, what it tastes like. Okay. Yum, yum, yum. That's not milk. No, that's not milk. Yeah. So, and and they're like I'm coming back for more. Isn't that something? Look at that. I think they want more. You want to squirt? <laughs> yeah. And that's squirt. Yeah, look at it. He's like, give me more. So, and also for a bigger dog, um, here's our Bodhi who would take oh, most of it that I'm way. Go, oh, There's a little skill to it, but you know, ideally if they'll take it out of a bowl, that's how you want to do it. So let's move into a couple of stories here. This is the story of Morpheus and Morpheus, um, we've actually had two puppies like this, but Morpheus was our first experience. And um, this was from the dream letter. Um, and Morphe was born. And of course, we're in the midst. He, I believe he was pup number five. And when you're in the midst of whelping, you're helping them, you know, get the puppy out and plug them in, get the, you got to get all the, um, the umbilical sac off of them, make sure they're breathing well, get them warmed up and plug them in basically is what we call them to start, help them start nursing and get their first drink. So Morpheus here, and I think I'm going to play the video. Yeah. If it'll play, I think it might be stuck. Anyway, this is a little All video. Right. So here's uh, Morpheus. Morpheus, do you want me to tell you the story again <laughs> of how you came to be with us? Oh, there it goes. He's so out. <laughs> He's so tired. All right. So I've got it. Oh, it, it went double on me. Sorry about that, folks. I'm just going to tell you quick about the story because um, the video is a little bit longer, but this basically is a puppy that was stillborn. And um, it's a really exciting thing to have a litter of pups, but it's really devastating to have one that's born and it doesn't breathe. So Jerry, my husband and I were on the, fo on the floor um, doing everything to get this puppy to breathe, um, lung compressions, you know, going through all the, the things that breeders do to help their puppies get started. And he was not moving. He was not breathing. He was not responding in any way, shape or form. Um, he was born without the sack. So that often that is, you know, like heads up, this one needs lots of attention. Um, and because of that, he actually began to get cold. Now this was minutes and minutes after he was actually born and we felt his body temperature and just absolutely limp. And so very sadly, like the tears just start to come and Jerry set him aside as if he was dead, like we would take care of him later because the next puppy was coming out. So um, we started working with the next pup and all of a sudden out of the corner of my eye, I see a shoulder twitch and I'm like, there's life, there's life, there's hope because I'm the eternal optimist. So I pick him up and I'm like, we can do this. We can bring him back. I grab the ASEA and start spraying from a spray bottle. I start spraying him. We start working on getting his lungs going. That's the most important thing is for him to get breath of, of air and get his body functioning. We sprayed and sprayed. We did chest compressions. We started to just, you know, warm him up with our hands, everything. This puppy came back. It took several hours for him to fully come back, but he started, he started nursing and we're like, wow, this stuff is a miracle. It brought this puppy back to life it helped. We know God did the, all the work, but it was incredible. And then just last summer, our very last litter, the exact same thing happened again with another pup. And my friend Becky um, got Morphe and he's, he's an agility dog now. He's perfectly healthy. Um, and then when this happened again last summer, we brought this pup back from the brink of death, right? I mean, I, he, did, he just he hadn't breathed and we did the same thing. It was minutes and minutes and minutes, like this puppy should not have made it, but the puppy did. And so she has, she got spirit. That's the dog's name. So she has two of our pups with this story. So, oh, it's so emotional to go through this. So let me see now. Oh, no. Okay. All right. So, all right. What else, Ellen, are you going to share with us? Well, how about a fish story? Now, listen, I get it. 
not everybody has fish, so it's okay. But here was the interesting thing. Um, I don't know if you can see behind me, I actually have a very large fish tank and I love the big tropical fish. This is a red parrot cichlid. And I noticed that this cichlid started to have a sore on its forehead, uh, you know, right between the eyes. And it started to open up and it started to get worse and started to get gnarly. And I'm like, okay, well, I have this stuff here, but I also have a fish in water in a huge aquarium. Do I just like what I just don't, I don't know what I dump the acia. That would be a lot of acia, right? So I decided that maybe the best way to do it would be to net him out of the tank, put him over a bucket, hold him down under the water, and then use this great little um, squirt bottle to squirt some acia directly into this wound area because that's what I really wanted to do. So you know what? I did. And I did that every two to three days over a three month period of time. And I have proof. This is how I did it. Oh, come on, play. Why, what a good fish you are. Yes. Infinite love and gratitude. Yeah, we're getting this healed. It's working. So that's what we did Why? every few what days. What a good fish you are. Infinite love and gratitude. And he literally, he knew somehow, he knew that we were helping him because he never fought in the net. He never flopped around. He didn't stress about it. And right, like, hey, look at this is the before, during, and after. And yes, he did have a divot afterwards after those scales actually even grew back. But it the body knows what to do when it's given the right tools. So totally amazing oh, let me go back through this so if it has a cell it will help it right like the last slide said i hope you read that even plants so this amazing asia product is so safe that it can be used even with plants um it can be sprayed on the plants or like my friend Lori falk did uh, this is actually her picture and her testimony and we're going to hear from her in just a few minutes but she had gotten these grocery store roses uh, at Valentine's Day and she cut them and put them into water and she thought, huh, I've heard of people using them with plants or with flowers. I wonder if it'll do anything if I put just a cap full in with this. So she did, she put just like the top cap full into the vase of water and I believe it was just a couple days and the flowers actually did last for a couple of weeks, like two, two and a half weeks. But then what she noticed was this actually sprouting. Now, I don't know about you, but I've never seen that healthy of roses to actually start sprouting like that. And look how right at that water level and down is so green. And then above that, it starts to die off. So, so fascinating. Now, let me talk for a minute about the Renew 28. As you can see, this is the redox gel. It's the same redox molecules. It's actually twice as concentrated as the ASEA. But the gel is amazing for topical use. Now, for people, you can use it on your face. It's incredible for wrinkles, for those spots that teenagers get, for any open cuts or burns, sunburn, bug bites, I can go on and on, right? Um, this I used uh, to have on hand, which I always do with trimming the nails. So the qualities of the ASEA itself, in and of itself, it is antibacterial, antiviral, and antifungal. So keeping that in mind, it is safe to use if there's any blood present. And always, if you don't know this, when you get you down to your tube, you always want to give it a good shake first and then open it up and apply it. Um, it's a clear gel. It doesn't really have a smell, but you can put it anywhere. It's also great over the thyroid. Um, be sure to, when you get down to the end, to cut it in half and scoop out whatever's left because you'll get another application or two in there. And this is my beautiful Mowgli boy. Oh, he's my heart dog. And um, he had an injury he was getting elderly and the girls knocked him over on ice on the deck. And so he, we decided to shave his shoulder 
this was his front shoulder um and he had a skin tag there and you know we weren't too concerned about the skin tag but we're like well okay let's just make sure that this gets covered with the redox because i've heard that skin tags will like fall away so let's see so we did we applied it twice a day over that area and you can see it's really kind of gnarly it's abnormal cell growth is what it is right um and in two months my husband was outside with the dogs and he came in. He's like, oh, Mowgli's skin tag fell off. I'm like, what? <laughs> really? Because remember, I said I was skeptical in the beginning and still like incredible. So it's also amazing for uh, teething or any dental concerns. Always when people like if you take a swig of this, you want to do it, put it into the, the little two ounce cup that it comes with. Don't drink it from the bottle because, as I said, these guys in here are so bioreactive. They want to go to work right away. So they're going to signal whatever organic material that they touch, whether it's your finger, your mouth, or a treat, right? Um, but it's amazing for dental health. I have so many dental stories, but it's also incredible for teething puppies. So here's a video. Let's hope this one will play. Hi, Bodie. Yeah, this is Bodie. Are you teasing tonight? <laughs> yes, you're especially uncomfortable. And you know what? You love this. Like you ask for this, right? And you're being such a good boy right now. So we're going to show everybody how to do this. So we're going to put some on this. And then we're going to put it just inside of your teeth here on your gums. Could do this with a puppy, could do this with a baby. And I'm going to just show now. These are his puppy teeth yet. And those are about to fall out. Four and a half months now. And those big ones are coming in. And he's just been uncomfortable tonight and chewy. And yes, you love this, don't you? You do. You love it. You would lick it just like that. But we want to get it up on the gums. Up on top, real gentle, good boy. And below, what a good puppy you are. That's a good boy, great job. Yeah, you love it, yeah, good job. Okay, so moving on, yes, more dogs and being a breeder. Um, we did so great with my beautiful journey. She's my heart girl. So, you know, she's just looking at like, I'm so happy. She just always, she wanted to be a mom in the, in the worst way. And she got her dreams that came true. Um, so this, um, this was actually last year where there was a challenge that began to happen as I was watching these puppies are a week old and her back mammary glands began to get more engorged and more swollen and became red and hot. So we know that that means that there's something going on that's not balanced. In fact, there was a big unbalanced imbalance happening and the puppies were having a harder and harder time getting milk out of those um, milk ducts. So I'm like, okay, well, here we go again. Another opportunity. Let's see. So I sat down. I literally <laughs> rubbed the Renew 28 repeatedly over these mammary glands. I just kept massaging and massaging. And it was awesome because I knew how safe this was for anything with the cell. So I didn't have to be concerned that the puppies would get sick from me using something else, right? Like I knew that this was in fact even beneficial for the puppies. So I rubbed and I rubbed and I'm like, all right, here we go. I literally went through four tubes of Renew 28 in eight hours. Yes, I massaged her and I held those pups up for eight hours because we had a litter back years and years ago where I didn't have the proper tools. And I ended up, she ended up with this condition um, at the time and we had 12 puppies and we had to bottle feed them for a week while she was on antibiotics. And I was like, this is not gonna happen this time because I have these amazing tools. So I'm telling you, I it took my work, but I pretty much constantly sat there and just continued to rub and massage and hold the pups and send love. Four tubes, it was the best 160 bucks I've ever spent because I didn't have to load her up and take her to get her checked out, right? And the puppies too. And it cleared and everybody was fine. 
amazing, like another incredible testimony. So bridge the gap here, how this can be used with people and with pets and with babies. All right, so even little birds. Now, this is a baby cedar waxwing who flew into my patio door, which is right next to my computer here, which is bad enough that a bird flies into windows, right? It happens all the time. However, she fell on top of my girl Mari at the time, who Mari began to chomp at her. She chomped twice by the time I screamed and ran out the door. I'm like, no, stop, because I want the bird to live, right? So thankfully, um, Mari let go of her. I got the dog in, and the other dogs in the house. I grab the ASEA in a spray bottle, right? Put the ASEA in any empty dry bottle, spray bottle. And I began to spray. And I'm just going to preface this with um, my intent was to spray it all over this bird. Because I know it's safe to go in the eyes. That's one way it's going to get into the body. It's not going to absorb through the feathers. I know that. I know it would just, you know, roll off. But I also wanted to get it on her feet and something miraculous. <laughs> You're gonna be okay. Yeah, you're gonna be okay, sweetie. Oh, you want more? Okay, okay. Even the birds know this is amazing stuff. Wow. So she did recover. She did, at first, she did have blood coming out of her mouth. So I knew there was something going on inside. It wasn't just being stunned. But the fact that she just wanted to open her mouth more and have more is amazing. Um, I, I've had a couple of people say, well, you know, Ellen, salt water isn't good for birds. And my reply back is, this is not straight salt. What happens is the purified salt and the purified water go into the company and where it goes through a three-day electromagnetic process. It exactly mimics what the mitochondria do in the cell, and it does not come out on the other side as salt and water. For instance, you look at, go to the grocery store or in your kitchen, you look at the ingredients in, a, in the bread bag. It doesn't say bread in the ingredients, just like it doesn't say redox molecules in the ingredients here. It says basically water and sodium chloride. What happens is that those molecules are broken apart through that electromagnetic process and it comes out as redox. And that's what it is. It's redox. Just like that bread has to have flour, eggs, water. It has to be kneaded together and mixed. It has to rise and then it has to go into the oven to get baked. Well, ASEA at the company that I visited, it's amazing to visit. It's got a great tour there. Um, if you're ever in Salt Lake City, go visit it but it's not salt. So um, on the other side, like there is no safety concern because this bird is making the exact same molecule in every single cell. So that's my story. One more quick, this is Zoe the cat. Now this is my most recent experience, not mine personally, but I did help one of our puppy families who had a cat. And I know if you're, if this is a little too much for you, I'm sorry, just look away. Um, but this cat was bit by something and she lives in Colorado and they weren't sure if it was a rattlesnake bite or a brown recluse bite, but she called me, this is Labor Day weekend, and she asked if Asia could help her cat and the vet was giving Zoe a 10% chance of living through the night. And I told her, I'm like, miracles happen. I don't know, but I've seen miracles happen. So Zoe was not eating or drinking and she was not even barely moving. And the only way that they could give her the ASEA was to give her an enema of it. So they did that and six ounces that night and the next morning, the cat is still alive and even was showing improvements from where it was bit. Now the skin started to turn necrotic like dead and it was dying off from those toxins. They did figure that it was a black widow spider that bit her because um, of the symptoms that she had. But in this middle picture, that had like gotten so inflamed. It was hugely inflamed more so than this picture shows. 
But what happened, they did more of those enemas throughout the day the next day. And in 36 hours, this cat recovered, fully recovered and came home. Now, there still was this issue of where those toxins hit first. The skin did die off and the body did need to regrow that, but she used the Renew 28 topical regularly on the cat. And now she just sent me this the other night on the right-hand side is the cat after two months. The skin is growing back, the hair is coming back. Amazing. So I have one more story and then we're gonna hear from a couple other people quickly. Thank you for your patience. This is uh, beautiful Maisie. Now Maisie used to live with us. She had um, four beautiful litters and she was ready to move on and become a therapy dog. So at age 11, she went to our dear friend, Lori Daniel Falk's home to do so. Now she was taking just two ounces of the liquid daily at the time. Um, but several months into this, we discovered that she had a big lump in her abdomen. So Lori, you want to take it from here? Sure. So first of all, can I just say, is Ellen Welk not the biggest hearted, most loving person on the planet? Look at how she treats all of these animals and all of her stories. You can just see her heart exuding this, this amazing heart energy. And love you. Oh, love you. <laughs> and I'll tell Tally's story after we finish Maisie's story. But the day Tally died, I asked Tally to tell God that I needed another puppy, like yesterday. And an hour later, Ellen Walt called me up and said, How would you like our oldest golden Maisie to come and live with you while your heart heals? so I of course said yes I knew it was the answer to my prayer and Maisie came and we went to the vet because we felt something on her ovary and I don't even know how we found it to be honest we found it maybe it was just a routine vet appointment but I told Ellen and we decided to do the surgery and when they opened her up, they found a secondary um, bump, if you will. And the secondary one was really um, not the good kind, the really bad kind. And we waited five days for the vet to get back to us and tell us what happened. And they said the reason that they needed all that time was that they needed not one, but two pathologists to look at this because this um, unpleasant situation was encased in a hematoma, which is a layer of blood and a layer of fat. It, it's as if her, her body was protecting itself from something that it knew wasn't good. And because of the interaction that I've had with this, you know, Dr. Marty, Mar Marty Warren, who's a veterinary research scientist, and I have become really good friends. And I called him and asked him about this. And he said, we're hearing cases like this in humans as well. So when, when the, the surgeon and the oncologist talked to us, they said, this should have been a death sentence. But because of the hematoma, we think she's going to be okay. And we can't believe that those words are coming out of our mouth. And we also want to tell you, we have absolutely no understanding of those redox molecules you keep telling us about. But whatever they are, don't stop giving them to her. And so we increased her dosage and gave her even more when we understood you know, the severity of the situation. The beauty of it is that Maisie lived to be 15 and a half. And even the day that she passed and we had to assist her with that, she was still walking around like a little old lady because 15 and a half was ancient for a golden retriever. But I learned so much about the power of these molecules and you can see 
there's a picture of me giving her the molecules at, at, at my house. It, it's not ever dinner time. It's a sea of time because that comes first and it's the happiest time of the day. And the picture on the right, you can see I'm actually, this is post-op post now, and we're putting the Renew 28 on the wound to help it heal. So Beautiful. I, can't, I can't say enough about these molecules. And, and the way I got involved in it is I was at a medical conference in Chicago with Dr. Darren Weiss. And Ellen was sitting in front of me and I got a diagnosis that my dog had six weeks, four to six weeks to live. And I knew Ellen knew all this about these amazing molecules. And I knew she knew so much about holistic health and wellness. And Dr. Weissman said, somebody give Lori a bottle of Redax signaling molecules. And then I asked Ellen what to do. Ellen hooked me up with Dr. Marty Morin. And the long and the short of it is, even though Tally passed away, eight weeks later, she had had prior to this experience and this diagnosis, her liver enzymes were elevated. And they, we put her on the best of the best supplements on the market and we just could not get those, those liver enzymes down. They were up around 400. And within a couple of weeks of her being on redox molecules, while her body was breaking down and dying, her liver enzymes came down 200 points. So what I have learned about redox signaling molecules from animals is nothing short of amazing. Nothing short of amazing. So. Incredible. Thank you for sharing. And you and I have just traveled this really incredible journey of interweaving our paths and still continue so, but it was so incredible. Like I'd never, I'd never um, shared one of my dogs before with someone, but like there was just a divine plan that needed to unfold. And this definitely was part of it. Right. And Tally, Tally brought you into it. So, so amazing. Thank you for sharing, Lori. So let's hear quickly from Callie, and then we'll take whatever questions you have. Callie. All right. So I'm going to share my, let's see. Oh, you have, can you I let me? I got to give it to you. Yeah. Hold on a second. Okay. Um, just a second. I am going to make you a co-host. I thought I was a co-host, but. Okay. Okay. We got it again. All right, so I've got this one share. Okay, so I'm just gonna share with you my um my little dog. Sh uh, she's a sh sh uh, can't talk now. A Shisu, and her name is Lizzie, and she is as of today 13 years old, and she is outside doing one of her favorite things is running, hiking, climbing. She gets on the couch. She climbs up into the window. She's a very active dog, has always been a very active dog. And her favorite place is to climb up the couch, climb up into the window and sit in the windowsill and protect the house from anybody crossing the street. Um, so she got really sick one day. Um, well, over the course of several weeks, um, we noticed that she had a bunch of ticks. And that's the window there in the background that she would climb up behind and sit in that window. That was her favorite spot. But she got really sick one day with um, after this this incident with having ticks and literally covered. She could no longer walk. She could not even hop up on top of a couch. She couldn't she couldn't do anywhere. So we would have to literally pick her up, carry her outside, help her to go potty, bring her back inside. And we took her to a local expert who was like, there are some very expensive procedures that we can try, but there are no guarantees. And um, so I thought, well, I'd had an amazing experience with um, the ASEA redox molecules. So I thought, well, we'll give it to her. The first two days, you can see right here, Riley is, um, that's my son, Riley. And he's got one of the little SIA cups and a syringe. And um, at this point, she's sitting there waiting patiently for it. The first two days, it only took two days. The first two days, she really fought it. And we'd have to hold her and we'd have to squeeze it down into her mouth. And she fought it um, a lot. But after two days, every time that blue bottle comes out, she sits by it and she wants to have her 
um, little Asia thing. And so what Blue Bottle, she's there waiting for it. And she, you can see, she just sits there and takes it. She knows how good it made her feel. And so she will just sit there and drink that stuff down. And that was after two days of really having to force it down her. And she waits for more. So what we did is we just kept pumping it in. She would sit there and open her mouth and open her mouth. And then after so many of them, then she would just lay down and it's like, I'm done. We just let her body tell us when she was done. So some days she needed more and some days she needed less. She seemed to really know when she needed it. Um, the end result is she is today 13 years old. She'll be 14 in um, December. Um, she's healthy. She still jumps up on top of the couches. She jumps up into the window. She's very active and totally has her life back. And, and so Shih Tzus live a little bit longer than Golden Retrievers, but 13 and 14 is still getting up there in years. But um, yeah, she's a happy little camper. And uh, you can see how little she is. I just wanted to show you how little she was. So we didn't have to give her too much, but um, she, it was a, nothing short of a miracle. We've used it now in cats and everything. It's just an amazing, amazing product. Awesome. Thank you so much, Callie. You want to stop sharing your screen there? And Yay. Well, okay. So that concludes like, look, you guys, I know it's a big conversation. It can be this simple. You drink it and you apply it. You help your pet with it by helping them drink it and apply it. So who has any questions? If you want to raise your hand and I will do my best. Sorry, I was not able to follow the chat. I don't know what, what actually was in there. I had my slideshow on. So, um, okay, oh. Sandy. Sandy, why don't you, um, oh, you're, you're, oh, sorry about that. I hit the unmute. Go right ahead. What's your question? Hi. Hi. Oh boy. I've got three cats. Um, one is almost 14. He's got diabetes. He's had it since, uh, July. Um, and his blood sugars are just up and down and up and down. And, and, uh, the only way that he's telling me that something's wonky is he starts scratching his neck like a madman. And I just, we're up to three CC in the morning and at night and, um, his teeth are really bad off. Um, I don't have the money to, to have his teeth cleaned. Um, Mimi, she has a uh, two years ago, she was diagnosed with stage one kidney disease and blood pressure. So she's on blood pressure meds for that. And Tabitha, she just all of a sudden got fat and she hardly has any energy. She does here and there little spurts. And I've checked her blood sugar, it's fine. So I'm thinking it could be a thyroid issue. Um, my friend G, she, she had me come here tonight um, to get some information um, on how to help the cats. Um, I'm wondering if I was to use the ASEA, how can I stash it in their food, their wet food? So that's really not recommended. So I did mention before about putting a treat inside of that bowl. So what's going to happen is that those molecules are going to begin to trigger on the food and you don't want that. However, if they can drink it or consume it like within 30 seconds, you're probably going to get more bang for your buck because you want those molecules directly in the body. You don't want them triggering off on, you know, externally on the food. Um, I would see if there's any way that you could, you know, help them get it. Ideally, you want to give it to them like five minutes before or after or away from food or water. So okay. that would be ideal if you could maybe try to use one of these bottles or a little syringe like Kelly did that works too. I've known some cats to drink it freely. Um, so maybe it's possible. I would definitely go that route first and see if there's a way. Um, now on top of the, the liquid every day, can I rub his gums, his, his sore gums with the gel absolutely. as well? Yeah, so that was gonna be my next, I was just wanting to cover all the ASEA possibilities first with the drink. Um, I would definitely bring in the Renew 28, the gel. Now you can put this, in the mouth, on the gums, it's going to help the whole dental conversation there. You can also put it on the inside of the ears. 
ideally, if you can get it on directly on the skin, it's going to help to soak then deeper into the skin. Like you don't want to just put it on the hair. Like I said, I knew the ASEA was going on the feathers of the bird, but I wanted to get it and I, I didn't want to stress out the baby bird by handling it. So you want the ASEA to directly touch the skin. So for cats, you're going to be the inside of the ears, um, the mouth, the tip of the nose. Maybe she'll lick it off if you put a little bit on her nose. You can definitely put it on the bottom paw pads. It's phenomenal. You want her to lick it off, right? If she's going to lick it, it's perfectly safe to eat. There's just organic um, innate silica, uh, tiny, tiny little pieces of silica that's in this to give it the gel consistency. They call it viscosity. That's the big word. Mm -hmm. But otherwise, it's the same exact thing. And it's actually twice as concentrated as the ASEA. So some cats might not have as much hair on their lower abdomen. I would highly recommend you apply it that way. It will sink into the skin. Um, and just a note about that, just to help you think about how powerful it is when you do put it on your skin, your skin absorbs. The cat's skin is going to absorb. Um, in fact, the, the country of Australia um, had their own regulations and the, that country is fully open now with ASEA, the drink and the gel. But for the first number of years, they only would allow the topical in to, to Australia and people were finding great success just using it topically. So you can rub it over areas of concern. So like with diabetic things and that, you're going to want to balance those blood levels. And I am not a veterinarian by any mm -hmm. means. So you need to work with your vet on that, but I would also consider um, increasing the nutrition in a way. So mm. remember, we've got we've got this amazing ASEA product here. It is the signal. It is not nutrition, right? So mm. for, for our dogs and cats, we still need to be as species appropriate as possible. We feed raw. Um, I don't know if that's a possibility if you've explored that at all, but a raw diet might really help a cat to balance off whatever is imbalanced in their body. Yeah, they're on um, wet three times a day and they're on dry whenever they want to chew away at it. Okay. Yeah. I would see if you can increase it. Like there's, there's no contraindications with any other types of medications or anything. So in this instance, more is better. Um, how much do I start off with, with the liquid? For each of them? Well, I think with a cat, it's going to be more of how much will they drink? <laughs> because we, <laughs> we know cats are finicky and they're not big drinkers. So it's, you're going to want to get as much as you can. So it probably would be more of a private conversation than to go through with each individual cat. But I would say if you could get even an ounce into each cat a day and start with that. Um, okay. You know, like I said, more is better. And so uh, the enema that I talked about with the cat that was bit by the spider, that is not always a stress-free option, but oh, God, no. for a cat who is really sick, dog, cat, horse, to use this um, rectally with an enema type thing is phenomenal. It is actually one of the best ways to get the ASEA redox <laughs> into the body. So... You know, it's a lot to think about there, but so how many times a day, or is there a limit to putting that on his gums to see if the, it clears up? There's no three limit. Times a day? Or, no or limit. Or is better. I mean, I I would go for three times a day and see what it does. I mean, you'd have to give it time. Time and consistency is really important. Okay. Um, yeah, it's it's great. So, uh, do I ask my friend how much it costs, or can I come out and ask how much it is for the gel and the liquid? Oh. So in the U.S., I know we have some. We have our Canadian team here too. Um, yeah, I'm Canadian. 40, okay, so it's forty U.S. dollars, and I think that's fifty-four in Canada, I believe, and that's at the wholesale price. So that's a whole other conversation that you can have with whoever introduced you to it. Um, fifty-four for the bottle or fifty-four for the gel? For the gel, the bottle offhand, I don't know. It doesn't. It's not sold by. The bottle it is actually sold by the case so you can get two bottles in certain places i'm not sure if you can get two bottles in canada or not okay brush up on my canada skills um 
but it's $32.50 a bottle. However, I recommend you get a case, which is four. The two and two ounces, two ounces in the morning and two ounces in the afternoon is the maintenance or beginning dose for the human. So as we know, this is a human supplement, um, but because it's so safe and you can see all the testimonies, we have decided to use it with our pets. So it's really a beautiful, a beautiful thing, um, but definitely check, check. And other people might have that question as well. So please check with the person who brought you here today to talk more about that and more about ordering. Okay, okay. thank you very much for your time. Welcome. Okay, Teresa. Hi, Ellen. Um, I apologize because my video doesn't work. So I, I, I have to like, I, I can I can I see you. You can see me. So we have a um, two years old uh, Chihuahua mix. So she's only about he's only about 11, 11 pounds uh, in weight. The pump, the she has he has something called patella luxation. That, that mean when when he walks, like he will skip a step, just like skipping. So apparently it's um, pretty common among these uh, small breed dogs. Um, we we want to see what what is your advice because we want we definitely don't want it to be um, to deteriorate further if we can help him like when he's still young, only two years old. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. So, so our Bodie, the puppy that you saw in the video, um, he had it's a long story. I'm not going to get into, but. He has a knee conversation or challenges with his knees is similar type of thing. Um, the best thing to do is to shave the area and so that you can get the Renew 28 topically directly on the area of concern. So I would apply three, four or five times a day over something like that. Um, I can speak for myself as well, because I had three ACL surgeries back 20 years ago. So my own knees, I apply Renew 28 regularly, um, sometimes several times a day, but I know I saved myself a knee surgery because of it. So with all that in mind, definitely shave the area and apply the Renew 28. Now, I would also recommend that you give um, give him the drink as well, because this is going to bring that redox supply up from the inside out. And then the Renew 28 is going to bring that redox supply up from the outside in. And it's really incredible. Yeah, thanks, Alan. Um, Welcome. Well, the only thing is like he I think he will lick it. <laughs> because he I use it on his gum and he seems to like it. So, but I, I would try it because I really want to see him like enjoying life, jumping around, I mean, walking around yeah. he, right. instead of yeah, the condition that like, stop him from enjoying his life. Yeah. So there's a behavioral piece to this too, in working with animals. It's not just like, Hey, you know, I'm going to put some on my knee. So I would recommend just sit down with your dog on the floor or wherever and make it a love time. Like, oh, you're so great. You know, make it a cuddle fest. Mm -hmm. Apply some on that area and then just distract him with a chew toy. Hold him in your lap. Do whatever it is to keep him from licking it. We know it's 100% safe if he does lick it. But we really want that power of that redox reaction happening directly at the site. So we want it to go through the skin and we want him to drink it. Now, some animals will just do better eating the Renew 28. And you know what? They're going to eat more dirt by the grass that they're chomping on out, you know, outside than they are going to be from getting an innate ingredient in them. This is perfectly safe. Although it says use topically, um, you can research the ingredients for yourself and make your own decision. But as you saw, um, even with those baby puppies, weak old puppies, the brand new one that wasn't even breathing. We, we didn't use the Renew 28, but we did use the, the drink, but this can be eaten. And some animals, cats or dogs will take their ASEA much more readily orally with this. So just play thanks, around Ellen. with whatever works best. Yeah. Ellen, I do have another, thanks for that. I do okay. have a question regarding your knee. Uh -huh. Where do you put the um the renew twenty eight? Is it on on just on the knee or, or at the back of the knee as well for your concern? So you're talking about the dog? No, no you you because I do have bad knees. Uh, I put it all around. Yeah, 
I just, I just love up on my knee when I am doing that and I will put it top, bottom, all around, you know, the skin is going to absorb it and we can't always tell exactly where that pain is coming from unless you have some really good radiographs. Um, and even then we don't know for sure what it's actually doing inside that knee. Um, a still picture is one thing, but when you're actually in action, putting weight on it, moving, I cover the whole knee area. It is so worth it. Are you kidding? Like I saved myself another knee surgery. <laughs> like, yeah, I, I do. Uh, I, we weave this stuff into our grocery budget. This is about as priority as eating. Um, it truly is in our home. And we do go through about a whole bottle a day between what I drink, my husband drinks, I give it to my dogs every day. Um, we do go through a bottle and unapologetically, I'm so grateful to have this product in my hands. Um, I'm so grateful that the founders didn't sell out and sell this technology to the pharmaceutical industry because that's what they were going to do. There's awesome research or video about that. Um, I'm so glad that they gave it to us, the people to have and to use and to give to our animals. So thanks again, Ellen. It is a very okay. amazing presentation. It is one of the kind. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Anybody else have any questions? I know we are just two minutes past the hour and it went longer, but I'm so grateful that you all were here. And if we don't have any other questions, we will just close for tonight. And um, so thankful, catch up with the person who invited you here. Um, share this, this is that technology that everyone deserves to know about, right? All right, you guys all have a wonderful evening, infinite love and gratitude to you all. Bye-bye. Thanks, Ellen. Welcome. Bye. Bye, Bye. everyone. Thanks, Thank you. Ellen. Thank, Thank you. you, Lori. Thank you, Callie. Bye-bye. <laughs> Thank you, Ellen. Good night. Good night.